it's not often that I think a researcher gets to translate what they're doing into a real world product. And I feel like this has enabled me, the business has enabled me to have more impact on more threatened species than my research ever did. So wildlife drones enables governments, environmental consultants and conservation organisations track animal movements like never before uh, by using a drone sensor that is unique in the world. Um, they can track many animals at the same time, but at the moment they're walking around with their arm up in the air. And beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> like this, um, and I've done that a lot myself, which is why we came up with this idea to try and do it in a more efficient way. Maybe we have to release it. Fairly exciting now because we're trying to get the actual telemetry out of the drone, so this will be really interesting to see how it goes. You know, we can track any animal that has a radio tag attached, essentially. So as long as it is transmitting a VHF signal, we listen for it. So it's one of the rare applications or unique applications in the world where we're actually listening from the drone rather than looking, which is what people are more used to. Here we have a really tiny bird tag. Um, they need to be small and light because birds need to be able to fly. Um, for this sort of tag, we can probably detect it about one kilometre away um, and be able to track 40 of them simultaneously. So even there's lots of birds out across the landscape. This is a new prototype that's it's really for development, but to help development. It's basically an onboard computer that takes the signals that we pick up from the antenna, but then forwards that on to the base station, which is on the ground, which is the laptop here. We first had the idea of, of doing this, and it was very difficult to find anyone who even had a drone. And I wasn't interested in the drone itself. I was just interested in the capability of a platform that was aerial. And everything we do has not been done before, and so it's a pretty exciting space to be. It really changed the trajectory of, of my career, um, from being an academic to going into, like exploring innovation and how, what does it take to translate a, a research prototype into a product that is user-friendly. We were the, one of the first tenants um, at SEAT and it's been really great to have the space that we have. Being able to do our own manufacturing right here in our own offices in-house has been really invaluable as a startup to be able to prototype really quickly and be able to adapt our technology. You know, my previous experience as a conservation ecologist at ANU is, is just fantastic to be able to work on these projects where people are making a huge difference on the ground.